Okay, so we're gonna figure out how to do a bobbin, how to thread a bobbin. So we have our thread on our thread pin or our spool pin. We have a clear bobbin on the bobbin holder. So right here, the instructions tell you, you go under one, loop it around and go back the other way. So what that means is we're gonna go under and it's a lot easier to do with two hands than one. So I'm gonna try to film and go under and then see how it tells you to go whoop, cross it over Let's see if i can do this okay just like the instructions said and then we're gonna go around the bobbin i don't normally hook my bobbin thread in the little hole i don't haven't ever done that in my entire life so but i have like a lot of thread in my hand so i'm just gonna Make sure it's tight to start with, and I'm gonna cut this off a little bit shorter because I don't wanna wind from two directions. So, I've got this little guy. I flipped my bobbin over, and then I'm gonna press on the foot pedal, and that's gonna start going. So what you can see is the bobbin's going up and down, up and down. And I don't want to fill a super full bobbin, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Now, focus. So, over here on this other machine, I'll show you what to do with the thread. Let me cut it. Cut. So, on this machine over here, it's showing that we just need to come up from behind this and then over to our bobbin. Okay, so we'll just would we'll do that. We'd bring it this way. All right, so we just, and then we would wrap it around the bobbin right there. That's the only difference between these two machines. All right, in order to get a bobbin inside of this, you have to take the bobbin cover off. On most of these machines, if you just push, pushing, see the arrow says push it that way, so that's all I did. And then this little thing pops up and you can take it off and then place the bottom bobbin right there. On this machine, this one's already off, so let me put it back on. This slides back and forth. So this would be in place and then you just slide it out. It's just a little bit of pressure and pulling on it at the same time. Okay, so the next thing you do is put your bobbin in there, okay? So you might be able to see there's some little arrows right here and some thread in there. Try to get that out, okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and try to hook our thread right here in this little notch. And it will be much easier when you have two hands to do this. Okay, give me a second. Okay, so I did it. But what I had to do was hold this one down and then take the thread around that notch. So what you have is a thread on your bobbin. The thread is caught under this little notch right here in the metal. Okay, so we're still on this pin, but we're going to undo that, okay? So the thread is going to go from the top of the machine, and then there's this little hook guy right here. We go under and under. So see how the thread is coming out of the top right there? And then, the thread goes down this part of it. And then you'll see how the two says, make a U-turn. So you're gonna go up around there. Three says, make a U-turn here. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be catching the thread on that. The thread take up lever, so you just run up past the back of it and it's going down. Now you go down to four. And then we have to hook it right here. All right, and then the next step is going to be to thread our needle. Okay, to thread a needle, the best strategy for this is to trim the thread so it's fresh. All right, so nice fresh cut, no frayed ends, and then you hold it pretty close to the edge of the thread, and then you just have to put it 
in the eye of the needle. And it might take you a couple tries. <laughs> Once you get it through, pull it tight and you'll feel that there's some tension on the back of the machine because the thread is going now through our tension and all the parts of the thing. So you take the hand wheel and you do one stitch and you'll see the thread is looping around as the needle goes by. So then you use your thread of your needle to pull the bobbin thread up. And then you grab that bobbin thread and you have two threads coming from here. What I always do is I put them to the back of my presser foot. So I make sure I have both fret threads. They're both hanging out here and they're back of the presser foot. Then you put this little guy back in, close it down, and you're ready to stitch. So doing a bobbin on this machine is essentially going to be the same thing. We accept that you would, your little thing you hook it on is up here on this part of the machine. So you would come here and then thread your bobbin. Since I've already threaded a bobbin, I'm not going to do another one. Oh, but I do need to borrow it from this one. So I'm gonna grab this bobbin. We're gonna come over here to this machine now. Go ahead and turn on the light. So, Putting a bobbin in this one, this one just slides out now. So that's how it's a little different. There are some specific instructions here on how to do the bobbin thread. So you can follow those in case you forget. But, so the thread needs to be coming off of the, to the top and your bobbin needs to be winding down that way. Same thing where you're going to have to catch the thread on this little hook right here and it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but I'll try again. Okay, this time I actually did it. So I have my bobbin hooked on that hook. So let me show you how to thread this machine. Okay, starting at the top, thread is on the thread spool. Then we are going to catch it right here. There's a little wire. You're just going to go, oh. So you go under and then over. So it's running along this part right here and then it comes out over here and up and down. So there's a picture right here, right? That's nice. These machines always show you how to do it. Then it goes down. Same thing. Make a U-turn at the bottom of this one. Oh, make a U-turn. So the thread is in there still. Then what we have to do is we have to use the hand wheel to bring our thread take up lever where we can actually reach it. This one, it's tucked in there kind of good. So you have to like bring your thread all the way to the back here and then bring it forward. And that catches it in that take up lever. You can see that I'm caught in there now with the thread. So the thread goes back down Again, on this arm, there's a little hook uh, that you slip the thread behind. And then same thing for threading this needle. We're going to do a fresh cut. Cut. And then hold the thread near the end of it and then feed it through the eye of the needle. Sometimes you have to just like wiggle it a bit. I don't want anybody licking their threads right now. You just have to do it this way. Your other fingers can help. Okay, pull it through, pull out a little bit of thread. Same thing, you're going to be doing one, one stitch only with the hand wheel, and you should see that thread come by, and it grabs the bobbin thread. You bring the bobbin thread up the whole thing so that the ends are all on the outside. There's nothing still in there. And then we bring our threads to the back. So both threads are 
in the back now. Then you have to put your bobbin cover back on. So just this one just slides into place and locks in like that. And you're ready to stitch.